there is a massive disconnect or gap in our understanding of physics and what is happening in evolution. Charles Darwin did a fantastic job at explaining how slow variations continuously occur. But the problem is that the physics of the universe does not really predict the emergence of biology and does not really explain why biology started evolving. These videos put forward the idea that the continuous exchange of light photon energy forms a dynamic geometry for the emergence of biology with the momentum of the process forming the driving force for evolution. According to the third law of thermodynamics, it is impossible to achieve absolute zero. Therefore, everything is radiating photon energy continuously. Variations in photon energy is a source for structural information and self-organization of organic and inorganic matter. Just by increasing microscopic variations of photon energy, by heating graphite, 60 carbon atoms quickly form spheres. Microspheres are formed by variations in the temperature of amino acids, and microspheres show many of the characteristics of living cells. Snowflake diversity is due to variations of photon energy that depend upon changes in local environmental temperature. Dramatic variations of photon energy in the waters of the Antarctic form the world's largest quantity of protein. Well groups appear in large numbers in the Antarctic waters because of photon energy variations form thousands of different inorganic and, and organic structures providing a wealth of food for the well groups. Incredible biodiversity of tropical rainforests stem from the exchange of photon energy formed by diversity of environmental temperatures. In this theory, spherical photon oscillations form a dynamic process of symmetry forming and breaking. The spherical symmetry can break forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy, forming what we see in our everyday life as disorganization. The spherical geometry can also form the potential for more complex systems to form, forming a template or dynamic geometry for cell life. This dynamic geometry could explain why life has a mathematical base. Also, a process based on symmetry forming and breaking could explain why cell life is never perfect mathematically or geometrically. Thanks for watching. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.